Well, hello, Scorpio. It looks like how you've been living and who you really are are two very different things. And now it's time to face those things. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Scorpio tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended or in personal readings, there's links to those in the description box below. Let's dig in and see what we got. Dark Harlequin. Number 27 reduced to a nine. At least it's the end of a cycle. I will take it. Red Countess. Number 21 reduced to a three. There's something about changing perspective as soon as you hear your intuition. See this little blue bird right here? Um, hearing your intuition. For someone, it's a spirit guide, but this this feels like more of your own innate connection. Okay. There's there's a little bit of the feel from Libra's reading of no longer performing for others. There's a little bit of that. There's something here where the version of you that you has you have been is completely different from how you actually are and who you really are. There's a stark contrast. And this is the version of you that's getting called forward. Okay. Number 27, Dark Harlequin. It says, bells are ringing from deep inside. Something that once had to hide is seeking your attention. It wants out. It wants to be free. As you release what was once shut away, your discomfort shall turn to glee. Okay, and Red Countess, deep within, you know what is true and what to do or not do, yet there is so much noise and distraction in the world, and even at times in our own minds, that listening for our inner wisdom can seem like trying to hear gentle birdsong in the midst of a rock concert. Even so, you are hearing an inner truth, and deep down you know it. Can you trust that it is safe not to only hear your inner voice, but to act on it too? Mmm, that last part. That last part. Mm, okay. Mm. That solar eclipse, man. <laughs> It's just shattering everything that we had before, that we didn't need, that we were pretending to be, whether we knew it or not. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Show me what's going on, Scorpio, please. Show me what's going on, Scorpio, please. Show me what's going on, Scorpio, please. Hmm, some sort of recuperating. Got it. For someone, it is actually from surgery. Okay, there's some form of rest that has been gained that hasn't been had in a very long time. Fool, three of pentacles, devil, card of Capricorn. Four of pentacles. Three of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Hermit card of Virgo. Okay, so you switch the flip, flip the script on them. This is you. This is them. This is the situation. This was a connection. Okay, this person could have been a Capricorn Virgo, but it feels like they were viewed as more of a temptation, like you were too scared to take their hand. See? Too scared to take their hand. That it was a temptation to succumb to versus the connection that it was. Okay. So you held back from this. Full stop. You held back from this. Okay. 
You withheld from it from making it real. That doesn't mean connection didn't actively exist between you. But now you want to know where they went? Because the withholding changed the game. I don't think you expected it to change like this, though. You really don't know where they are. Like, what it is they're up to or anything like that. They removed themselves from your life. Okay. They looked at their other options if you weren't going to take their hand. Okay. And they went in that direction. Some of them had to go deeper into their own soul journey. We will see why. Mm -hmm. There's something about a period of time in this connection where although you held yourself back from it, there was some element of control that was yours. And you relished in having this control. You thought it would be fine that it wouldn't be around you anymore, that you wouldn't have the connection around anymore, but you're, you're not, but you're not. Show me the fool, please. Let's get the details of the fool. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. There you are. Scorpio Energy, Two of Cups. Nine of Swords. Page of Swords. What was it that the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, saw or thought? Huh. Taurus Libra, Taurus Energy, Empress Hierophant. You're seeing that the Two of Cups that you ran from was actually the one connection you needed above all others. Okay, because you ran away from it. So he was, he's, he's, he's run into his motorcycle to jet off into the distance. But you still watch this person until they faded from view. Okay, and now you're seeing the missed opportunity that this was. It, it was a big Empress Hierophant. That's a big one. That that's a big one. If you committed yourself to another Empress, you're you're seeing where you missed the mark. There's something where there isn't real common ground for longevity in the thing that you chose versus the thing that you ran from. Okay. Okay. Let's get into the Three of Pentacles for Scorpio, please. Four of Wands. Page of Pentacles. So this connection made you feel. Which is, which is an interesting experience for you because you thought that you felt for your current partner or just others that isn't this person. So the fact that any feelings existed for anyone else whatsoever, you overthought the shit out of those feelings. <laughs> okay. Um... Something about this person being around really stabilized your world. So I don't know if you worked together or what. Or the fact that they just exist. That could also be it. Something about them existing in your sphere stabilized your world. And the feelings are what threw you. Why overanalyze this? Because you're not wrong. You're telling, you've told yourself this. Pisces, Leo, Libra energy. The truth is that there would be, you know that there would be work that you have to do in order to meet them toe to toe. Okay. And you would have to make this, it, it would require more of you. It would, you would have to rise to the occasion 
in order to seize this opportunity in a balanced and healthy way. And it looks like you weren't going to do that. You, you, I mean, we already know you chose not to. You chose not to do that. For whatever reason. And we all got our reasons. The good ones, the bad ones, and the ugly ones. We got all the reasons. Show me the four of pentacles, please. Hangman, seven of wands, lovers. Yeah. Oh, you blocked your queen of cups. Because you're there, king of cups, queen of cups, lovers. You blocked. You, you, uh. <sighs> okay. Show me the Wheel of Fortune. We already know why, because we we just got why. Show me the Wheel of Fortune, please. Ah. According to your logic, that was a great decision. Aquarius, Leo, Leo, Libra energy again. Okay. I mean, you, you really shot yourself in the foot here, babe. Because you, you try to push feelings through a lens of logic, and that, that doesn't really... That doesn't really... All you had to do was show up with a cup. A cup and a conversation. That, that, that's it. That's it. Show me the strength card. because now you're angry that you missed out on this. Okay. This one? Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. I mean, I'm sad for you because it's like you're clearly angry now or after the fact. All right, let's get into the devil. Yeah, so they're they're strong Capricorn energy because Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, right after that, and Taurus. All three Earth signs are here. So they gave themselves permission to enter into connection with you, to take the risk, even when you haven't entered the ring yet, or chosen or not chosen. Okay. They were brave enough to be like, all right, I feel the soul bond. I'm going for this. But you never joined them in the ring. It's showing me that other people were in the way. Because this doesn't show me you two fighting. This is showing me other people are in the way. Show me the three of wands. Knight of wands. Four of Pentacles, smart. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands. So this person understood that what you chose to do was to maintain a certain level of immaturity. The whole, I know I would have to step up and evolve in order to meet this person where they are. So deciding to remain the past version of yourself. They're seeing it as a sign of immaturity. Then hence why they reevaluated if you two work together, they are they started job searching during the process on the down low in order to make like a tree and leave. Show me the hermit, please, for them. Justice card of Libra, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords. Hmm, okay. I got to hand them this. They they did once they drew their conclusions, they th then decided to move quickly because they see how they've allowed themselves to loiter in this for too long. Where'd they go? They close. Oh, they close out a big cycle. New offer. 
world, king of pentacles, ace of pentacles, double Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. Possibly a new job. Possibly something that comes with a slower lifestyle from soul family. There's a karmic lesson this person is fated to learn in that cycle. Capricorn, star, devil. St um, um, Capricorn, Aquarius energy, star, devil. Hey, man. Okay, we'll get into more on that in the, in the extended. Show me this interference, these other people. Looks like someone you live with. Possible Leo Scorpio energy, double Scorpio energy. Does this person love Scorpio? Scorpio energy again, Page of Pentacles. You're going to learn the truth of why this person hung in connection with you for so long. Sag energy. What's the truth? Oh, they might be having an affair. Pisces, Leo energy. Either that or they really only see you as the Three of Cups. So they know something about this person. They see that in this process that they won you, like not even like fair and square, but that they won whatever this game was. So if it was a third party, whether active or passive, active meaning full-blown affair, passive mean that say you two were co-workers and you had a wife or girlfriend at home kind of thing. And the two of you, you know, sparks flew just when you said hi to each other, when you passed each other in the office in the morning, right? Without crossing any lines. Um, this person knows this, per yeah, they knew, they knew that you had a lover's opportunity with someone, someone else, but instead they were able to get you to always come home to them. I mean, if you're committed to that person, then yeah, show me what they knew about the lovers. One, the moment they saw it, they knew it had to go. The moment they saw it, there's, they're showing me that they saw it. We have all the threes out on the board now. Okay. They, they knew. So however they helped, if you noticed around the time when you met this person, and this person caught wind that they exist, Okay, go back over that. When did this person start to pull you home more often? Not that you're not supposed to go home. Because you chose to be here, right? But when they started to really just take up every second of your time. Every single second. Got it. To the point of depleting you. It's going to be very important. So sit with that. I'm going to head over the extended date, go into this person. I'm going to see what's going on with them in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.